disappointment. Pure, sheer, bewildering, awful, stunning disappointment. I made a post on my Facebook about gauge jewelry. The rings that people have put in their ears. The people that have their earlobes stretched because they think the sensation feels nice or they think the fact that their ears look like flaccid labia is unique and cool. Whatever they have going on in their head, I think it is ugly, repulsive, and disgusting. That's my opinion. And all I said on the Facebook post was to people that have gauges, why? Because I just don't see the mystique around people that have gauged ears. But that's just me. That's my opinion. I do not look down upon that person. I do not think of them any less for having those things in their ears. I just happen to think that they look awful. Apparently, some people can't handle that. Even worse, some people are correlating what I'm saying about how awful I think they look to me saying that, oh, if you have those, don't even talk to me. If you have those things in your ears, don't even come near me. Take those things out now if you want to be my friend. Don't even think about conversing with me if you have those, those, those awful things hanging out of your ears. I mean, what are you, Dumbo? Because I got a few messages, a few very spiteful messages. At what point in me saying... People with gauges. Why? Is it clear that I'm supposedly saying, go take them out? You do not have the right to do what you want to do to your own body. Where does it say in that? Where can the assumption even be made that I'm trying to tell people what to do with their lives, what to do with their ears, what to do with themselves? Where does it say that at all? Hey, to those of you that sent me that message and you know who you are, uh, let's just get something out of the way. You're morons, and I'm glad you are no longer on my Facebook and no longer fans of mine. Okay? Why are people so soft? And why are people so quick to misinterpret things these days? I know, we live in the digital age, and it's very hard to detect sarcasm on posts at times. It's very hard to, you know, I guess, to examine things for what they are when it's just a 140 character block of text or or in picture form or what have you but seriously I admit I'm guilty of assuming from time to time I assume things and then they turn back around and say oh no that's not what it is I say okay fine but I don't feel the need to send somebody a message saying oh my god what, what, what the fuck, man? Uh, uh, it, it, I can't believe you would say something like that. Uh, I'm no longer a fan of yours. Unsubscribe. If you really, really dislike something that I do so much, don't even tell me about it. Run. Don't walk to the door. In fact, just the other day, in fact, just today, I liked a video um, from my new friend Mackenzie. Hi, by the way. And it was just a video of her talking about what she's going to be doing on her channel. Giving like an update to people and, you know, things of that nature. And one of my subscribers stalked me to the video and said, Why did Undertaker Freak like this video? And that wasn't the bad comment. The comment below that was, Oh, I just came to check it out. If he does this again, I'm unsubscribing. Big deal! Get the fuck out of here! I don't care. If you are that soft and fruity that you're willing to unsubscribe me for something so trivial? Why even say it? Why even mention it? Take your butt hurt with some grace and get out the door. Run! Don't walk! I will not miss you. In fact, I went to this person's channel and removed him from my subscription before he even got the pleasure of doing it himself. I don't need that. And people really need to stop being so soft. It is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like I mentioned in the if you don't have anything nice to say, say it anyway video. You can't if you're if you're a celebrity in this country, you can't make a statement. An honest 
statement filled with conviction about something controversial without the next day your publicist being out there oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend anyone get that shit out of here I'm sick of it I'm sick of how soft people are in this culture and it's getting worse by the way. and just like with that English teacher at that Boston high school who, who basically laid the law down to the kids and said you're not special we need more people like that to tell it how it is without fear of the consequence of soft fruity unimaginative people who can't see anything deeper than the surface of what people say we need more people like that oh yeah and he was dead on when he was talking about how kids are being coddled by their parents and told they're so special and told to shine their, their little soccer trophy every night and, and told to polish their medals that they got for coming in last place at the soapbox derby. And, and you know, and hell, even some parents, you know, sending them off to all, and like George Carlin, sending them off to all these camps and shit and just coddling them. And, and they got them right here and then pampering them. And... No, absolutely not. If you're going to pamper them, fine. If you're going to give their kid everything they could ever little, that, that their little lips could ever ask for, fine. Do that. Coddle them. Give them the Mercedes. In fact, give them all of your cars. I don't give a shit. Give them a platinum credit card. But teach them to handle dissent with some form of tact. If any of you are prospective parents out there and you just can't wait to loose little kitties from your loins, please listen to me. Teach them to handle dissent with some tact. And if you're going to shove a religion down their throat, teach them to handle other people's religions with just a small amount of tact as well. Oh, and another thing. Don't tell them that gays are abominable because that is where gay bullying starts in this country. It starts with Christianity and Catholicism and other religions saying it's wrong and treating homosexuals like second-class citizens. Other than that, do whatever you want. But at least instill that in oh, and, and actually teach them to have their own mind. That's another thing. But you know what? That's the way it is. I can't even talk about how much I think something looks ugly without someone going, ugh, oh, you're trying to tell me what to do. You're trying to rule me around. You're trying to say that I can't do this, I can't do this, because it doesn't please you. No, sister, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I personally think what you're doing looks ugly. But you can do it, because it is your body. How is that so hard to comprehend? And there's going to be a few people out there saying, well, you know, some people look up to you and they think your word is law. So that means if, if you tell them, if they, you don't like how something looks, well, they, they can take that and go, oh my God, I should change it. That, that means that they're living for you just to please you. Who? Show me one person that looks up to me so much that if I were to tell them I didn't like something they were doing, they would stop doing it. Show me one, please. So I can talk some sense into that person and tell them I am nothing more than a person who sits here and rants on YouTube. I'm not a demigod. I'm not a semi-god. I'm just a regular guy talking about what he likes on YouTube. Don't change your life to fit my views. So show me that person and I will tell them that personally. Shit's getting bad. It's getting really, really bad. Granted, there are plenty of things that I love in this world. Plenty of things that I love. Plenty of things I enjoy doing and plenty of things that make me happy. Yes, I am happy behind the scenes. Well, sometimes. If they find a way to colonize Mars, here, here's a tip for all you guys in NASA. Here's my only tip. If you're going to find a way to colonize deep space somewhere, IQ test. <laughs>